So I'm going to build a Kubernetes secret and access an encrypted value from it as an environment variable in my Spring Boot application. So in the last video, we looked at config maps where we could store values in a config map and access them as environment variables in our application. That was good for things which are not sensitive data, but if we were storing things like passwords, we'd want it to be encrypted and that's where secrets come in. So first thing I'm gonna do is use base64 to encrypt some values. So I've got a bash terminal here. I'm gonna say echo n to suppress the new line at the end. And I'm going to say my secret value. And then I'm going to pipe it to base 64. And there we have an encrypted my secret value. Uh, I'm also going to do another one um, and my secret prod value. And I'm going to use this my secret value in development and my secret prod value in production so for the development value i'm just going to copy that and i'm going to define it in my application properties file as my secret property now i'm going to define a configuration file um, so new package config and I'm going to call it devconfig uh, because we won't be using this in production but for now uh, we'll use it just to test uh, so I'm going to get my secret property as an encoded secret property and then secret property bean is going to return the base64 decoded secret property then I'm going to construct my controller to take in that secret property as its constructor. Spring Boot will automatically find as a bean to insert in there the secret property. Uh, that's going to set it there. And then I'm going to make a new get mapping for slash secret. And that I'll just call the method secret. Uh, that's going to return secret property. Uh, now if I run that up and pull up a web browser, if we navigate to our application secret, there we have my secret value as it was defined before we encrypted it. Now the next step I'm going to define the secret value uh, my secret prod value in a Kubernetes secret and we're going to get it as an environment variable in the config uh, when we're in production. So this configuration I want this to work in profile not production so we use that in development and testing and then I'll create a new prod config I'll just copy that so this is the one we're going to use in production and this time the secret property is not encoded so I'm just going to return secret property so when we get environment variables out of our Kubernetes secret, it's not encoded, although it is going to be defined encoded in the Kubernetes secret. So to define our secret, I'll go into our YAML. Uh, we have our config map defined here. I'm going to define a new section, uh, appy version is v1 and this time the kind is secret uh, metadata the name is going to be mshw secret the namespace it needs to be in the namespace with everything else which is mshw namespace and type opaque
then we're going to find, define our application variable in here, my secret property. And that's going to be the encrypted my secret prod value. Copy that and paste it into there. Then in our deployment in the container, we're going to define the environment name my secret property. So this is the name of the environment variable which is going to match my secret property as defined there in the production configuration file. And that my secret property is going to come value from secret key ref and the name is MSHW secret so that matches the name of the secret that we defined here and the key of the value is my secret property so that matches the key there so that should now work um, I'm gonna have to rebuild the application so I'll do a Maven install uh, run as Maven install it's just running through the test there I'll just go into target and confirm that file was rebuilt uh, that is the time now so that file is rebuilt now because we're gonna have to rebuild the docker image I'm gonna have to force a rebuild in kubernetes so I'm gonna do uh, where are we um, in MSHW namespace so I'll just kubernetes minus to get into the parent um, namespace so now I'm in the default namespace and then I'll do kubectl delete namespace mshw namespace so I'll delete everything and that takes a few seconds and then I'll rebuild the docker image do docker images just to confirm that the latest mshw created three seconds ago so that's right and then I'll reapply the whole configuration to kubectl apply file mshw yaml well I have an error uh, I put the key my secret property in the wrong place there it should have been there So I just fix that and reapply and everything seems to work. I'll just confirm the ingress is ready. kubectl get ingress namespace shw namespace and watch it. Uh, we have a localhost address so we're ready to go. Now we go to our browser and now we're running in we're using ingress is pointing to mshw.com uh, it's not available okay I did have a problem there I just forgot to save everything before I did Maven install uh, but I've saved it and rebuilt it all so now the application is working again and if I go to slash secret I have my secret prod value so we've got a value now defined in our Kubernetes secret. So that's how you use Kubernetes secrets and how you can access them as environment variables in your Spring Boot application. And so far in this series, we haven't done any data persistence. So each request we've made to our microservice has been independent of any other request. If we're going to build an application, we're probably going to want to store some data somewhere. And a bit later on, we'll look into databases. But in the next video, we're going to have a look at volumes and how we can persist data between calls to the microservice. So thanks for watching.